Welcome everyone to Daily Prayer at the Abbey. I'm Father David and this is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, October 5th, the year of our Lord 2022, the season after Pentecost. The prophet writes, Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. We're so glad that you're joining us today at the Abbey, where I'll be leading us in prayer using the new Book of Common Prayer of the Anglican Church in North America. You can learn how to purchase your copy at the end of the podcast. Many thanks to all of our faithful listeners who've been so generous in your giving. Your continued support's helping this ministry reach people all over the world with daily prayer. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and share us with your friends. We'll be praying responsibly this evening. I'll be reading the parts for the efficient. You'll be responding with the parts for the people in bold. So join me now on page 42 as we humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and the desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all of our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Invitatory. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise, the people say. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our evening canticle, the Fos Hilaron, page 44. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening, second half of Psalm 89, beginning on page 386 of your Book of Common Prayer, verse 19. The psalmist sings, You spoke in a vision to your saints, and said, I have set the crown upon one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not be able to do him violence. The son of wickedness shall not hurt him. I will smite his foes before his face and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will give him dominion over the sea, and with his right hand shall he rule the rivers. He shall say to me, You are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forever and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed will I make to endure forever, and his throne is the days of heaven. But if his children forsake my law and do not walk in my judgments, if they break my statutes and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their offenses with the rod and their sin with scourges. Nevertheless, my loving kindness I will not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. I have sworn once by my holiness that I will not fail David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne is the sun before me. It shall endure forevermore as the moon and as the faithful witness in the heavens. But you have rejected and forsaken your anointed. You are full of wrath against him. You have broken the covenant with your servant. You have defiled his crown and cast it to the ground. You have overthrown all his walls 
and broken down his strongholds. All those who go by plunder him, and he has become a reproach to his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his enemies and made all his adversaries rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword and have not given him victory in the battle. You have taken away his glory and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth you have shortened and covered him with dishonor. Lord, how long will you utterly hide yourself? How long shall your wrath burn like fire? Oh, remember how short my time is. Why have you made all the peoples for naught? What man is there who lives and shall not see death, and shall deliver his soul from the power of the grave? Lord, where are your loving kindnesses of old, which you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, Lord, how your servants are reproached, and how I bear in my bosom the rebukes of many people. Remember how your enemies have reproached you, O Lord, how they have called after your anointed king with cries of scorn. Praise be the Lord forevermore. Amen and Amen. And the glory of Patri, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson, the prophet Malachi, chapter 1. Malachi, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The oracle of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, says the Lord, but you say, how have you loved us? Is not Esau Jacob's brother, declares the Lord? Yet I have loved Jacob, but Esau I have hated. I have laid waste his hill country and left his heritage to jackals of the desert. If Edom says, we are shattered, but we will rebuild the ruins, the Lord of hosts says, they may build, but I will tear down, and they will be called the wicked country and the people with whom the Lord is angry forever. Your own eyes shall see this, and you shall say, Great is the Lord beyond the border of Israel. A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am a father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my fear? Says the Lord of hosts to you, O priests who despise my name. But you say, How have we despised your name? By offering polluted food upon my altar. But you say, How have we polluted you? By saying that the Lord's table may be despised. When you offer blind animals in sacrifice, is that not evil? And when you offer those who are lame or sick, is that not evil? Present that to your governor. Will he accept you or show you favor, says the Lord of hosts? And now entreat the favor of God that he may be gracious to us. With such a gift from your hand, will he show favor to any of you, says the Lord of hosts? Oh, that there were one among you who would shut the doors, that you might not kindle fire on my altar in vain. I have no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts, and I will not accept an offering from your hand. For from the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations, and in every place incense will be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. But you profane it when you say that the Lord's table is polluted, and its fruit that is, its food may be despised. But you say, What a weariness this is! And you snort at it, says the Lord of hosts. You bring what has been taken by violence, or is lame, or sick, and this you bring as your offering. Shall I accept that from your hand, says the Lord? Cursed be the cheat who is a male in his flock, and vows it, and yet sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished. For I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name will be feared among the nations. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us respond now to the lesson in the words of the Magnificat, the Song of Mary, on page 45. Mary sings, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones, and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers, 
Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second lesson, the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Matthew 24, beginning at verse 29. Jesus continues, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. From the fig tree learn its lessons. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know and will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Page 46, the Nook to Menace. Together, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Feel free to pause the podcast now and to reflect on this evening's lessons, but return and join me as we lift our voices together and confess our faith in the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed on page 46. In unison, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
This concludes our Liturgy of the Word as we move now to our time of prayer on page 47. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, the people say. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 48, our evening suffrages. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace in your church and in the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, and trusting one another and all of our life to Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. Page 620, our Collect of the Day, Proper 22 from Sunday Worship. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in continual godliness, that through your protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly serve you in good works. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And on page 50, this colic for protection on this Wednesday evening. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor in the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us lift up three prayers for mission. Using these three on page 51 to frame our intercessions, I invite you to join with me. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you, and men, women, and children everywhere love you and serve you in peace. We pray this evening for all of those who have not yet received the gospel of Christ and for those who have never heard the word of salvation. Send forth labors into your harvest, O Lord, and gather yourself a harvest of souls. We lift up those who have lost their faith and become hardened by sin or indifference. Stir up the embers that are in their hearts, O God, Fan them to flames and let these be saved. And we bring to you the contemptuous, the scornful, those who are enemies of the cross of Christ and those who have persecuted your disciples. Forgive them, O Lord, for they know not what they do. Open their eyes and their hearts to the truth and let these be saved. And finally, we lift up those who in the name of Christ have persecuted others that you, O God, will open their hearts to the truth and lead all of us to faith and obedience to your word. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. And as we lift up our prayer list unto the Lord, keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, and shield the joyous. Stretch forth your mighty hand, O Lord, and heal, deliver, provide for everyone who calls upon your name. It's the only name given under heaven whereby men shall be saved. And all these things we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Finally, O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon each of us the spirit of your love that in companionship with one another your abounding grace may increase among us. Help us, O God, to love one another as Christ has loved us 
and help us to do those works that are pleasing in your sight. Help us to be salt and light in the midst of a corrupt and a darkened generation as you build your church, mighty God. Let not the gates of hell prevail against it. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Feel free to pause the podcast now and to lift up your personal intercessions unto the Lord. But return and join me at the end as we lift our voices together and give thanks to Almighty God. The General Thanksgiving on page 51. Together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all of your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you've made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray you give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all of our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto you. And you've promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and our petitions as may be best for us. Grant us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. You've been listening to Evening Prayer at the Crossroads a prayer minister of Crossroads Anglican in Brighton, Michigan. Thank you for being our guest today at the Abbey. We hope that you found your visit encouraging as we strive together to build one another up in the faith and to make the habit of daily prayer a regular part of your Christian discipleship. If you'd like to learn more about Crossroads Anglican and daily prayer, please check out our website at crossroadsanglican.org. You'll find a host of prayer resources and helpful links there that'll help you learn more about the Anglican tradition, liturgical worship, and our vision to help strengthen and encourage your walk and help you draw closer to God. You can purchase your own copy or download a free PDF of the New Book of Common Prayer by visiting the Anglican Church of North America's website at bcp2019.anglicanchurch.net. That's bcp2019.anglicanchurch.net. I'm Father David, and this has been a production of Crossroads Anglican. If you'd like to help support our ministry, please click on the donation button on the right side of our homepage and make your tax-deductible gifts. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.